this is a an attraction rotary motor modified from a, a regular series S1 motor modified by uh, removing all the windings from uh, the motor and the motor the rotor is shaved to be more rectangular um, to be more like a crossbar uh, the commutator is abandoned and there's no brushes and you can see that it just basically free wheels and the only fr you know friction there is pretty much just the bearing friction um, it's a simple circuit made with a MOSFET switch triggered by a magnetic reed switch right there and it's activated by magnets on the pulley glued here and here and uh, the kickback will be going to the light bulb here um, here's the amp meter and it's set on a 10 amp scale and here's a volt meter here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and kick it on and it doesn't matter which way it's running it'll go either direction so right now it's at about 20 volts about 19, 19 and a half or so and it's drawing 430 430 milliamps 400 just about 0.4 milliamps just about 0.4 volts this this line right there is one amp. Just the one amp. So that's basically just 0.4, pretty close to 0.4 uh, amps. 0.4 amps. It's running very quiet, very smooth. There's a light bulb lit with some of the kickback. And this, this meter over here shows the voltage that the light bulb is running on. Light bulb that's doesn't. That's how much voltage is coming back for the light bulb. So that's to kick back to the light bulb there. And that's just a regular um, car light bulb, like a brake light or something. Right. 12 volt, 12 volt bulb. So that's just showing how much is kicking back. Some small portion of what... what uh... And uh, if I try to slow this down a little bit and apply a little bit of load to it, the amperage does not kick start climbing. And so the movement of the rotor is independent from the input. This demonstrates a, a true no backing up motor. And then in a second, what we'll do is we'll short out the um, uh, the kickback there, where it'll be let's, running about. Let's, let's get a speed speed yeah. on this because we, we can just turn this thing off. So uh, the speed of the motor right now is 3,000 3,000 RPM. Okay. So now what we can do is we can just turn the power supply off right here so we know that the, the total power it's drawing is the same. Mm -hmm. We'll just turn that off. And then what we'll do is we'll take the light bulb out. And we'll just put a shorting wire in. So now what happens when the energy comes back out of the coil, it's just shorted by this diode. So we're throwing it, now we're throwing the power away, the power that was running the light bulb. So now we're just setting it up to throw it away. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start over. All the power settings are the same. Oh, we didn't move, we didn't move this, everything's the That's same. the same. Voltage same, is same. about the same. Voltage at 20. Speed, very close to the same. But drawing one amp now. But now it's drawing one amp more than more than twice as much. More than twice as much. And you can hear it also, it makes more noise. It's more loud, it's, it's working harder to do the same thing. Right. And most of the motors are built anyway where it's shorted. So. Yeah, normally this is shorted out inside the rotor. Uh -huh. um, so you, you never get to see the differences here. Right. But here it shows that the motor runs actually better when you actually retrieve and recover the energy. Mm -hmm. um, it, because you can run partially on the energy that you're retrieving, which now we're not retrieving anything, so now it's just causing it to draw more.
but it still has no back EMF. In other words, it's still, even though if I slow it down, if you, if you look at this, it's, even by slowing it down, it doesn't draw more power. It still has the no back EMF characteristic, but it, it, it runs better when you, when you run it partially on the energy that's coming back out. So now, put the light bulb back in. I can do it even faster. It's quieter, draws less. Speed is still, it'll come up to around, yeah, still three grand or more. Light bulb lights, quieter, draws back down to 0.4, draws less than half. Mm -hmm. So it draws less by taking more from it. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you for thank you for doing that. Here's the same type of motor. Um, unmodified um, straight out of the factory and when you turn it you can see it doesn't really freewheel um, compared to the other one that's just the brush friction and you can see this one is actually connected to the windings inside and that one's not see, the, br the brush the brush wires are not used here, but they're they're connected here. The red and blacks are the brush wires. So they're one of them goes directly to the red, and the black one then is seriesed with the with the coil wire coming back up.